What's up guys, I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today I'm going to be covering a project that I believe could have some nice upside this bull run. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. Know what I want. All right, so as usual, we'll just start off with some Bitcoin. So when you look at Bitcoin on the daily time frame, not a whole lot has changed since my last several videos. The reality of the situation is that the RSI and Stochastics are both still very overbought. So at the current moment, I am still projecting that Bitcoin starts to flag out. And ideally, while this flag would start to fill out, the RSI and Stochastics would start to reset. And then the 21-day moving average would continue creeping up and then price action could get a bounce off of it as a support level. Now understand, obviously none of this is guaranteed, but usually you can use methods like this to get a good entry or to time the market. Now, when we look at the bigger picture for Bitcoin, like the 10 day, we still look very good. This was an extremely bullish candle close. We closed at 91,070, and that was obviously a clear breakout from the macro bull flag. Now, I've been talking about this bull flag for months now, and the measured move of the bull flag is all the way up here around $118,000. Now, is it guaranteed that we hit these levels? No, it's not. And as I say in pretty much every video, I wouldn't be shocked if we get rejected around $96,000 and $98,000, because $100,000 is going to be a major psychological barrier. But as we stand right now, Bitcoin looks very good on the larger time frames. And what's awesome to see about this Bitcoin explosion is the meme coin market. So as you guys can see, meme coins have went absolutely parabolic. At this point, it says Dogecoin's only up 25% in the last week, but that's because it pumped about nine days ago. But it was up around 100%. And Doge is now over a $53 billion market cap. And it's currently the seventh largest crypto, sixth if you don't include Tether. And then you look at SHIB and it's the 11th largest. And it's even higher than that if you don't include USDC or Tether. And then Pepe would also be top 15. So that would be three meme coins right here that are in the top 15 of cryptos. Not to mention Pepe just got a Coinbase listing and a Robinhood listing. If this doesn't show you guys the kind of volume that is flowing into meme coins, then I don't know what to tell you. At this point, you cannot deny the gains that they are making. But anyways, the project I'm covering today is called MSTR. And this is part of that SPX narrative. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, SPX went parabolic over the last few weeks. So you can see according to CoinMarketCap, SPX is currently the 212th largest crypto, but it actually is much higher than this because CoinMarketCap just hasn't updated it. So you can see right here, Ponky is 156, then it's a smaller market cap. So SPX would fit in somewhere right beneath Turbo. But basically the SPX narrative is that they want to flip the stock market. They're basically mimicking the S&P 500. And they have obviously done very well recently. I believe SPX did break a billion dollar market cap. Now, at the current moment, you can see it has retraced down to a 500 million market cap, but that is to be expected when a project went absolutely parabolic. Now, why am I making this video right now? Part of the reason is because SPX is down 32% in the last week. If this narrative is here to stay, I want you guys to also keep your eyes on MSTR. And understand, I'm not saying that the narrative is for sure here to stay, but this is a project that I personally want to bet on if the narrative sticks around. I really like the MSTR community. But anyways, MSTR is currently sitting at a market cap of 29 million and they have 7.5K holders. Now the volume actually isn't bad at all, 1.48 million. And if you look at the recent buys and sells, there are a lot of dolphins and a lot of whales. That's the kind of stuff that you love to see for these mid caps. But similar to SPX and the S&P 500, MSTR is like MicroStrategy. And as you guys know, Michael Saylor is one of the biggest Bitcoin bulls out there. So imagine if he were to interact with this project. Now, obviously that's not guaranteed, but I actually wouldn't be shocked if he does just because this project kind of flatters him. If you scroll down, I actually really like this post right here one hour ago. You're into crypto, Bitcoin, and meme coins, and this is what your timeline looks like. And you can see it's just a bunch of Michael Saylor posts. And that is absolutely true. Just like what Bitcoin Archive posted one hour ago, MicroStrategy just bought another 51,780 Bitcoin for $4.6 billion. Now, at the end of the day, the reality is that MSTR is still a meme coin. So it's not like I'm trying to sit here and sell you guys on the next upcoming technology. I just personally think this could be a very nice bet, especially if like SPX continues to do very well. So if you guys are interested in this project at all, then I recommend coming over and giving them a follow on X. In fact, I just realized I'm not following them right now. But then I also recommend that you guys join the Telegram because that's going to help you guys stay engaged with the community. But anyways, if you guys are interested in getting into projects super early, then I recommend coming over and taking a look at my Discord. At the current moment, I have three different tiers, but we've been making huge gains in here. For example, Doge is one of the most recent calls. I posted Doge at a $10 million market cap, and Doge ran over $500 million. That is over a 50x. So if this is the kind of stuff that sounds interesting to you guys, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. We're building an excellent community. I'd love to see you guys in here. But as always, I want to be crystal clear. Every single one of these projects that I cover come with extremely high risk. Make sure you always do your own research. 
But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments if there are any other cryptos you'd like me to cover in the future. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.